Hello my fellow weirdos, welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am going to be giving Ting Dong 10 of the best Halloween reads for this spooky season. I've done a little bit of research, some of these I've read, some of these are already on my TBR, some of them I've just bought, but these to me are the ultimate spooky reads for Halloween. Now there is lots more out there and I definitely want you guys recommendations but I've been looking around poking about and based on what I've already read and what I want to read this is my particular pick so without further ado in a no particular order we're going to start off with Autumn Crow by Cameron Cheney if you don't know Cameron then you are not interested in horror booktube because he is the ultimate horror booktuber he's also known as book movie guy and put his link down to his channel below. He is the nicest guy and he has written a book called On Crow. It is seven, I think, short stories. It is all autumnal, Halloween-y, just perfect, spooky, short story loveliness. I recommend the book. I recommend his channel. I recommend him in general. Really, really genuinely lovely man. So yes, Autumn Crow, plus just check the cover out. I mean, like, spectacular. Uh, and number two, we have Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge. This is a story about a sort of backwards, kind of run down, economically sort of crappy little town in the bottle of nowhere in America where there, and nobody has any real future. But there is one opportunity to get your butt out of there and, you know, succeed. And that is to hunt down what they call the October Boy. It is literally a living pumpkin monster. And Halloween, all of the kids and like the teens who are old enough to do it, hunt this creature and if you succeed and hunt him down and kill him you get a ticket out of that town but of course there's more to it than meets the eye it i mean again look at the cover guys you couldn't get more halloweeny it's a really brilliant read the the bad guy is literally a walking pumpkin halloween uh <laughs> Number three, we have Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Mercado. Now this is one that I haven't read yet, but that I've had recommended to me multiple times and I have purchased as a result. It is, uh, again, a series of short stories, but I'm just gonna read this to you because I just love this description. It says, it muddies the distinctions between genres such as psychological realism, science fiction, fantasy, comedy, and horror. We have a woman plagued by the ghost of herself after weight loss surgery, another woman finding the remains and shadows of corpses in the seams of dresses. Uh, another female protagonist beheaded by her husband's desire, replete with alarming accounts of abuse and sexual violence in addition to undelible testaments of resilience and love. Her body and other parties will spook your soul and sear your heart. Need I say more? Also, again, fabulous cover. So that's on my TBR? TBR? TBR for Halloween um, and just in general, to be honest, because I mean, obviously I'm gonna read that. Okay, next, this was always going to be on my list. Sorry, Shorty Jackson fan here. We have The Haunting of Hell House, guys. I, I talk about this book, well, I really love Shirley Jackson and I love this particular book. I just realized that I kind of look Bond villain-esque with <laughs> Black Jumper on. But I was like, Halloween, cozy jumpers. Anyway, sorry, I just kind of felt like I'm like a floating head for a second. I'm just going to continue. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the premise of The Haunting of Hill House, it is about a group of strangers brought together by a professor to Hill House in a form of a kind of experiment into paranormal activity and what they discover there. It is just the ultimate haunted house book and you guys know how much I love a haunted house. So mm, that was always going to be on there. Next up, not a horror, but to me epitomizes just a a cozy autumnal read and that well I say cozy it involves a lot of murder we have at number five Agatha Christie's and then there were none my second favorite Agatha Christie book my first being Murder on the Orient Express I love this book there's also a fantastic BBC adaptation if you haven't seen it but essentially it's about a group of five five strangers who are summoned to a party by a mysterious host and that night, um, the host announced via um, a sound system, like a vitriola, that um, accuses each of the guests of a heinous crime. And then before they know it, one of the guests is murdered and um, they are starting to get picked off one by one. It is just 
all 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 kinds of spooky fun fun who done it murder mystery kind of thing you know remote location mysterious host creepy house people dying my kind of book basically and again watch that bbc adaptation seriously so good then we have house of leaves by mark z Dan danieluski danieluski i'm going with that um <laughs> Again, this has been on my TBR for a while. I haven't read this one yet, full disclosure, but to me, this description is just Halloween all over it. So it's on my TBR for this particular month. It says, it's notoriously hard to explain centering around the creation of a documentary about a haunted house. Um, so it's got script pages in it. It's got um, footnotes. Um, things about the movie that's being filmed but it's supposed to be very creepy very surreal very strange it just screams halloween to me um i also just really like the, the the idea of it being written so differently from everything else on the list then obvious one guys obviously we needed to have it on the list we have scary stories to tell in the dark by alvin schwartz everybody has read these books now i have to full disclosure i've only read one of them and it was a very long time ago and I can't find my copy. So I will be ordering all three again. Never read the other two for some reason. Quite hard to get over here in the UK. But it is just a series of creepy stories accompanied by the most disturbing illustrations <laughs> that haunted the dreams of every child my age. Um, I think it was released in the 80s. It was big when I was a kid. I'm sure anyone my generation and below has definitely read it. But has to be included on this list because it just perfectly epitomizes Halloween for me. Then we have Bunny by Mona Awad. Um, it's about a girl who goes to a school and there's like a kind of group of popular girls known as the Bunnies, um, which I just love the idea of the main girls in this particular story being called the Bunnies. Again, full disclosure, I haven't read this one yet, but it is on my TBR because I keep seeing it everywhere on people's horror gram. But let's see, um, an outsider um, on a writing program at American College. She's one friend, but finds herself drifting into the arms of a clique of students she calls the bunnies because they call each other bunny in a rather nauseating way. Story takes a turn for the surreal as we find out what the bunnies get up to away from college. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book, so I had to include that on this list because, again, it's on my TBR and it just sounds perfect for Halloween. Then we have Haunted by Chuck. Palinuk. I can't pronounce names. There should be a word for Is there a word for this? Like that it's some kind of mental disorder that you're incapable of pronouncing words properly? No. I'm going with Palinuk. Palinuk. No. That's it. Sorry. Uh, so again, selection of short stories. This time there's 20 something of them. Have not read this in years. But I do remember that some of them are pretty... Um, disturbing <laughs> that's the word that i'm gonna go with basically um told i'm gonna read you the little thing here because i haven't read it in a long time they're told by people who have answered an ad for a writer's retreat and unwittingly joined a survivor-like scenario where the host withholds heat power and food and as the storytellers grow more desperate their tales become more extreme and they ruthlessly plot to make themselves the hero of the reality show that will surely be made from their plight um i just remember reading it and being like Oh. Um, when was that out actually? Haunted. Two thousand five. That was one that I read for the cover. God, two thousand five is fifteen years ago. I feel really effing old. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long ago. Uh, finally, we have Haunted Castle by Ray Russell. Um, this, again, one that I haven't read, but this has been on my TBR for a long time. And just the cover alone of this Penguin book screams me. It is like a modern gothic. Just look at the cover. It's me. Um, it is a complete collection of Ray Russell's masterful gothic horror stories, including the famously terrifying novella trio of Sardonicus, Sanguinarius and Sagittarius, which is my star sign. It's a sign. Characters that sprawl through haunted castles are frightful to the core. The heartless monster holding two lovers in limbo. The beautiful dame journeying down a damned road toward depravity. The man who must wear his fatal crimes on his face in the form of an awful smile. 
engrossing, grotesque and completely entrancing, Russell's gothic tales are the best kind of dreadful. Right? I mean, that's just Halloween in a book. Am I right? So yes, that is my 10. I also feel the need, right? I, <laughs> side note, I'm going on a tangent here. I dressed thinking Halloween video, I'm gonna wear my spooky trousers. I'm gonna show you the spooky trousers now. See, they're like, <laughs> I'm going up. Like Halloween trousers, right? Spooky trousers. I have filmed how many videos and at no point do you ever see my legs. So, yeah, that was, that made sense. That was worth it. Getting changed, I ended up on my tight leggings for that. Nobody can even see. Well, neither can, because I've done a crotch shot. I haven't thought this through. Anyway, that is my 10 recommendations for Halloween reads. I will be reading the ones that aren't, that I haven't already read, sentences, speech, and, <laughs> and the ones that I have read, I thoroughly recommend, but I really wanna hear your recommendations too, guys, because it's my favorite time of year, and the more Halloween, the better, as far as I'm concerned, so let me know all your favorite spooky Halloween autumnal reads. I'm also going to put a link down below to my dear friend Merce's uh, video she did recently with myself and a bunch of other booktubers recommending our kind of horror spooky reads where I actually recommend Dark Harvest in that video as well because to me it's just like Halloween in a book you know again pumpkin head so um I'll put that down below as well if you don't know her channel it's Harpies in the Trees you should be following her too um she's fabulous love her just love her so much um so I'll put that down below so you can get those booktubers recommendations from her video as well but guys I want yours tell me give me all the spooky vibes but that's me for now in all of my awkward glory ah <sighs> just a natural on camera aren't i anyway if you could subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it i mean where else are you gonna find this level of weird randomness and don't forget to leave me a little comment hit the bell button so you never miss out on this spectacular weirdo and that's me for now happy almost halloween i'm gonna go take these uh leggings off now feel a bit a little bit daft in them, in hindsight. Bye.